Somebody must have got themselves a pair of Bigfoot feet for Christmas. There's these Bigfoot tracks going all the way down the down the railroad tracks here. But I think if it was an actual Bigfoot, I think the impressions would be deeper. So it's pretty cool though. So <laughs> look at this one. I just stepped on a set of little tracks. <laughs> they look like little kid feet. Um, you know, with the toes and stuff. There's some uh, deer offal. Huh. I'll have to... Uh, see, look, there's a little one there. Um, let me... Uh, Try to find another one. I'll put my foot next to it for comparison here. But like I said, real Bigfoot would have been uh, much deeper in the in the snow. This one looks like a boot print and something stepped on top of it. So, plus the strides are kind of kind of short there. So, huh? Interesting. All right. Well. Who knows? I mean, they've been going. I've been going down the tracks for about a mile, and uh, they started where I first got on back there. So interesting stuff. Good morning, YouTube. Merry Christmas, 2019. I'm out here. Uh, yesterday, when me and the dog were walking, I found some. Uh, some tracks in the snow, in the railroad tracks, uh, which you'll see here in a minute. So I'm back out today. That was yesterday I found them. They were not here on uh, the 23rd of December. Me and the dog walked here then, there were no tracks, but the next morning on the 24th, there were tracks here. So trying to find the origin of them. I think this is where the they uh, come down the tracks here. Um, it's kind of can't really make anything out right now. Uh, yesterday was 55 and sunny, um, but you can kind of see it looks like toes there and there. Um, but these are smaller than the ones than the big ones. Um, but the big ones, there were small tracks going with the big one too. Um, with the big tracks. So let me uh, see, I don't think we're gonna be able to see a lot, but I figured I'd tell you a little a little story about this area down here. I walk these tracks daily. Um, part of my 10,000 steps thing. Um, and uh, well, there's, they're going down, going down that section. Uh, and some very weird things happen on these railroad tracks. Uh, not very often, but when they do, they're pretty weird. And uh, I always call my brother up, but I'm like, dude, you wanna believe what happened? Um, so I'll, I'll start out here with, uh, if you see up, where the tracks curve, where they go to the right way up there. Uh, it was uh, end of summer this year, late, late summer. I can't remember uh, exactly. It was, a, it was a Sunday morning, about 6.30, foggy as hell. And uh, I was up about where this, where this sign is up over there and I can see something coming down the railroad tracks up in front of me and uh, like I say it was foggier than hell so at first I thought it was a deer walking down the tracks but as it got closer through the fog it was uh it looked like a person but there were no the arms weren't moving the legs weren't moving it was like freaking floating um, and it was it was uh, closing 
closing the gap between me and it fast. Uh, then, uh, um, just a second here. Oh no, that's deer. Um, then when it got, I, I don't know, 30 yards away from me, um, it went to my to my left into the woods, but it just it was like looked like the freaking thing, whatever it was, was just levitating. Uh, so when I got up to the to the spot where I saw it going to the woods at, um, I looked and there was no, uh, you know, the dew wasn't disturbed, the grass wasn't disturbed. Um, it was like nothing went through there and. It freaked me out. I was gonna turn around and head back the way I came, but I didn't. But uh, I was looking behind me the whole time because it was it was really uh, really freaky. Where the heck are the tracks? At? I know there's got to be some remnants of them. Of course, when me and a dog walk, we we walk down the side here. Till we get up here, then we hop onto the tracks. Um, so that was that was where I picked them up yesterday. Um, so there's that story. Uh, once I get down the tracks a little further, I'll uh, I'll tell you a few more stories that have happened on these railroad tracks. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so here's from my dog yesterday. You can see my dogs footprints but you can also see these other footprints that look like they have toes in them that's the smaller the smaller set and you can start seeing the big the big ones here it's uh it's really weird you can see my footprints from yesterday um, I don't know where my footprints are from the day before. Oh, they're over here, I think. But anyway, so you can see my dog. You can see the little, the little prints, and it looks like it comes up here onto the tracks. Um, I mean, them freaking things look like toes. <laughs> that is really, really bizarre. Um, all right, well, let me get down the tracks here. I haven't really gone that far since I was telling you the story about the uh, the floating, whatever the hell it was I saw. But it went, that thing went in, uh, about where that bush is, right in the middle of the screen there. That's where it went off the tracks and into the woods at. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I'm by the factory here. Um, you can see here a big print, a big footprint. <laughs> yeah, but then here one of them is a small one. So it looks like there's two people walking down here. Um, one with big feet and one with small feet. <laughs> but they all have their toes showing, so... All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here's the next stop on our magical mystery tour. Um, you see that sign that says 30 on it? Right there. Well, back in the 70s, mid-70s, me and my girlfriend. Um, girl I dated pretty much all through junior high and high school. We were walking to her house which is over there and that house is legit haunted um, I'll get I'll tell you more about that in a minute but uh, we were walking down the tracks and uh, going to her house and just past that 30 sign there was somebody standing in the middle of the tracks with a rifle or a shotgun or something just staring at us wouldn't move freaked us out so we uh, cut through the woods here got out on the road over there 
and took the road. Now people didn't really want to go on that road because there was a house just down here, the Williamson house, and they had three dogs that were that always ran loose and they were not friendly dogs. Uh, one of them was a three-legged, it was like a husky German Shepherd mix. That son of a bitch, if he got a hold of you, <laughs> you were in trouble. Um, but this person standing on the tracks, um, not moving, uh, we, we took our chances with the dogs. Luckily the dogs weren't out when we went past there. But uh, I mean, it's not unusual to see people out here with rifles or shotguns because you know, they hunt and uh, um, also it used to be back in the day, you know, if you had a dog that, you know, you had to put down, you just bring them out here somewhere and shoot them and, you know, be done with it. So, um, you know, it wasn't unusual to see it, but uh, it was unusual for, for for somebody to just stand there looking like they were on sentry duty and, and uh, staring you down. So, all right, I'll be back in a second because we're coming up to the... It's this portion of the tracks from here to the road up there where, where a, a bunch of weird shit happens. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm just getting past the pond here. And it was in this stretch here. Well, not only this stretch, but going down the road that way all, all the way till I got back into, into town. Um, it was uh, late spring or early summer. All the vegetation had come into stuff. Anyways, my dog, we got about here, and he started looking in the woods over there, hair up, growling, and uh, took off down the tracks trying to get out of here. Damn near pulled my arm off. Um, and the whole way, walking down there, down the road there, till we got into town, his hair was up. He kept looking back um, and uh, growling, and but at the same time trying to get the hell out of there. Uh, so that uh, that really had me freaked out. So <laughs> I thought maybe uh, I thought maybe it was coyotes because uh, when a, when there's coyote poop on the out here on the tracks, my dog won't go near it he goes way around it um which you know he, he acts like he's scared of it so um you know my dog's a big dog he's he uh he could ha handle his handle himself but uh he does not like coyotes but anyways so that happened um i called up my brother again i'm like dude man you should have seen my dog this morning so that was that then uh, two years ago, I was walking in the same spot here, and uh, um, I heard this fucking, or excuse me, freaking the strangest howl or something coming from the woods. I really couldn't tell where it came from. Um, and then my phone. A YouTube video just started playing on my phone about demons. I mean, that really freaked me out. Uh, and again, I called up my brother. I'm like, dude, you want to believe what happened and what I heard? Now, I was, you know, I didn't know for sure because about a mile and a half over that way lives a donkey. And, uh, you know, sometimes he'll start talking. But it didn't sound like the donkey to me. Um, um, anyways, that was that. I mean, stuff happens here. It doesn't happen all the time. But uh, when it does, it sure is freaky. So now I'll show you one more thing here when I get to the, to the road up here. All right, see ya. All right, look at these two small prints this one that one um the right and the left we're almost to the road i'll be back here's another one that's pretty well defined that's uh 
it's smaller than my foot, wider but smaller. I wear a 10, so. See, here's another one, small one, where it turns, it turns like it's looking over to the left or stop to turn to look behind it or something. So you got the little one and then the big ones. Hmm, all right, I'll be back. The road's coming. Okay, so just down the road here, past just past that bend right there, sitting up behind these trees, uh, was my uh, old girlfriend's house up there. And that house, um, we'd be sitting in there, you know, her mother, her mother's fiance, you know, everybody. And the uh, burners in the kitchen stove would just turn on or the taps in the in the bathroom sink or the kitchen sink would come on. Uh, the kitchen chairs would move while you're sitting right there. Um, I mean, just weird stuff. Uh, they stayed there until, oh, one time we were sitting there and we heard a noise in the basement. Um, sounded like somebody was, was beating the crap out of metal. So uh, Cliff there, he got his rifle and me and him went down in the basement and the hot water tank was all banged up and there was a pipe laying next to it. Nobody down there. Um, they stayed there a while longer until uh, my girlfriend's mother got uh, physically pulled out of the bed one night um, and little footprints came up on they were on the ceiling and stuff. Uh, they said they could hear a, like a kid laughing. So they uh, packed up shortly after that and, and got out of there. Um, as far as these tracks go here, um, once you get to the road, they disappear. So I've gone down that side. I can't pick them up there. I don't see them anywhere around. So I'm not exactly sure, you know, what the deal is. Now also, about two and a half miles down the road this way is uh, a house that was supposedly haunted that made it onto uh, the dead files. I don't know if any of you have ever seen the dead files. Um, and I can tell you that house is not haunted. Um, me and uh, 116 Junior, the third, we went there because it was, uh, it got abandoned, you know, and then it was up for sale. Thing sold for like $10,000. Um, would have been a, a steal, but it was a cash deal. Uh, but me and the boy went there, the youngest, and uh, I brought my uh, thermal camera, my FLIR, uh, had a video camera. Um, then I had my uh, my Panasonic DSLR, uh, had uh, had my uh, Zoom audio recorder, and uh, we spent a few hours in there, and nothing. I mean, not even a feeling of creepiness in the house. Uh, if I had the cash, I would have bought it. So, all right. Anyways, um, yeah. See, this is stretch of road too. When I was walking a dog, when he was freaking out. He just kept looking into the woods, turning around, looking, hair up, um, all the way down this road too, till we till we got back into civilization. So, all right, I'm getting back into town. Um, as I was walking, I was I was thinking, if uh, if that's a hoax, them footprints, why would somebody do it out in the middle of nowhere? Um, I mean, I'm the only one that ever walks on them railroad tracks. I know if, uh, during hunting season, there's a bunch of people back there. So if you were gonna hoax, why not do it during deer season, you know, to get a big laugh? Um, you know, why wait till after deer season? And, and also, if you're gonna do it as a hoax, why wouldn't you do it nearer nearer to, uh, to where people are? Um, I mean, like here, you could, make tracks or something and freak people out huh anyways food for thought all right let me know see ya bye